AIV's assembly integration and verification. AIV covers everything, covers all the subsystems that the telescope are composed of, so it's both hardware and software. We've been tasked to plan the verification of both the SK mid and the SK low telescopes, as well as planning the integration of the Meerkat precursor into the SK mid telescope. The, the key word here is complexity. In the past, you could build something, put it together, it would work. Nowadays, the, the, these large facilities uh, have become so complex that uh, it's, not, it's very risky to do it just um, in, in the classical ways. It is beyond the scope of individual or individuals, and system engineering like AIV becomes very, very important. So we need to assemble these subsystems, integrate them so they act as a whole, and then, then we have to verify that they fulfill the system requirements. SKA is supposed to give you a, a breakthrough in science, and unless it meets the required specifications and the sensitivity levels, we won't be able to deliver that quality science. So verification is an important process in that. I've not yet seen, there might be other projects, but I have not yet seen the, that level of detail and rigor of, uh, for AIV advanced planning and other projects. There's a huge amount of work. If you can imagine that there's approximately I think about 650 uh, system level requirements. All of those uh, need to be verified. We need to discover issues or problems very early and before we ship all the things to the site. Imagine you have everything ready except a piece, but that's a critical piece. So you cannot use the system because you're missing a critical piece, so you cannot move forward. So you have to keep an eye on how things come together how you can make an effective integration of everything, a timely integration as well. We are currently just six people in the consortium. Uh, we, we've got three member organizations in the consortium. Uh, Sereo in South Africa, who's leading the consortium. Uh, Cyro in Australia and Estron in the Netherlands. One of the biggest strengths of this approach and, uh, it was that the people are located very close to Precursor, for example, South Africa or similar. Uh, or have expertise in-house at their institutes. Well, I, I would really like to thank the consortium members. Um, as I mentioned, it's a small team. They've worked really hard, consistent over, over quite a few years, uh, delivering a huge amount of beneficial work for the SK project. After System CDR, we are moving towards procurement and towards construction, where really all the planning that uh, AFV did uh, are essential. Mm -hmm.